Hey there, stalkers. Welcome back to our channel where we embark on different approachable journeys. I'm Artem. And I'm Luba. Today, we're taking you on the special journey to the Maelstrom Mountain, nestled in the heart of nature's embrace. Imagine a Nordic chalet surrounded by nature and no other people inside. That's exactly where we spent the past couple of days, the true heaven of peace. Now, let's address the crutches in the room. Due to recent injury, I was unable to participate in our usual activities. But here's the thing, life does not stop, and neither should our quest for joy and connection. Absolutely. And sometimes, best adventures happen indoors. Picture snuggling up by the fireplaces, sipping fine wine, and me taking a spiral staircase up and down on crutches multiple times per day. Oh yeah, it was an opportunity to relax and simply be well for our time because I was in charge of carrying luggage, luggage <laughs> driving us around, and most of the cooking. Okay there, <laughs> enough complaining. Please join us and witness the magic of my restful retreat. Despite being Luba's first long drive, we did make it to the chalet. And while Luba unpacked, I took the opportunity to capture an aerial tour of this cozy house in the woods. The unique feature? Mirrored windows surrounding the first floor, creating the feeling of being in the heart of the forest while enjoying the comforts of home. Surrounded by the trees, the views is somewhat obstructed, but fear not as I can give you a bird's eye view. It's getting windy outside, so let's land the drone and head inside for a room tour captured by Luba. The ground floor boasts a charming washroom with a view, a comfortable king-sized bed with yet another view, and an in-suite stainless steel bathtub and shower. Trust me, it's quite an experience. In the center of the room, there is a portal to the second floor, which is not crutch friendly, so Luba will take you upstairs. The second floor greets you with a panoramic window, a cozy fireplace, a comfortable sofa, and a fully equipped kitchen that can cater to four hungry people. We brought along plenty of drinks since we won't be venturing far from the chalet. We started off with a refreshing sangria.
cheers everyone! After a few sips of sangria, it was time for dinner. So Luba kicked me out in the cold to grill some mouth-watering meat and potatoes. In the meantime, Luba took charge of making a delicious salad. Leave a comment if you'd like us to share a recipe. We thoroughly enjoyed our dinner, complimented by Luba's favorite wine, and finally, we could relax after such a long day. As the sun bid us farewell, our energy waned, and we headed off to bed. The next morning, the sun's rays greeted us, filling us with renewed energy. Luba prepared a scrumptious breakfast while I took charge of our beverages. Normally, we would go for a hike after breakfast, but given my condition, we settled for relaxing in one of the many inviting spots around the chalet. With the weather a bit chilly, we spent our time next to the fireplace until the rain forced us back indoors. After my coffee was delivered, Luba indulged in some me time in the bathtub. With the rain finally subsiding, I made my way up the stairs for a hike of my own. grilling delicious shrimps to pair with yet another fantastic salad. Once we finished eating, we moved to the sofa, enjoying the warmth from the fireplace and watching the sky darken. Just before bedtime, we returned to the outdoor fireplace taking the fresh air that is a luxury in bustling cities. On our last morning at the chalet, we woke up a bit earlier savor another finger licking breakfast. Capture aerial shots of the house.
prepare for our journey back home. With rain accompanying us most of the time, the heavy traffic of Montreal welcomed us back, leaving us somewhat exhausted as we spent the remainder of the day glued to the sofa. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful adventure at the Maelstrom Mountain. It was a unique experience of finding joy indoors, cherishing togetherness, and embracing the beauty of surroundings. Until next time, this is Artem and Luba signing off. Bye.